this episode, I'm up in the beautiful mountains of North Wales, looking at natural remedies growing in and around the hedgerows. If you're ever out in the countryside and you get stung or bitten, or you cut yourself, the plant you want to reach for is this down here. This is plantain. And this has an astringent effect, which means if you cut yourself, you want to wash this and then wrap that round and that will stop the bleeding. But if you're bitten or stung, what you want to do is create what is known as a spit poultice. You get the leaf and you chew it, breaking the fibres in the mouth. And wherever you've been bitten or stung, just apply the poultice to that area and what will happen is it will reduce the inflammation. This plant is called yarrow. The Latin name is Achille millifolium because of its association with Achilles. He used to give it to his troops during the Battle of Troy because this plant has a natural astringent. If you cut yourself, this will stick to the cut and stop the bleeding pretty much immediately. And in the First World War, soldiers used to carry this in their bags as a field dressing. If you get a nosebleed, you would just push this into your nose and it's gone. So this is a very, very important plant to use with cuts. If you're out on a walk and you get a headache, you'll see this plant growing everywhere and it's really handy. This is called meadow sweet. You can use the flowers, put them into a cup with some boiling water and make a tea and that will help reduce fevers. But then the thing that's most interesting about this plant for clearing a headache is down in the roots. And here it is. Now, it's quite distinctive of its red flesh. If you take that off and break that, it has a distinct smell of germany. All you need to do Flavours are really strong. Very antiseptic flavour. Chew on that and your headache will be gone. This plant is dock, long associated with stinging nettles. If you sting yourself, this is the plant to reach for. But a lot of people make the mistake of grabbing a dock leaf and I'm rubbing it onto where the sting is. And all that does is it causes an abrasion on the skin that's not good at all. What you need to do is get the liquid out of the dock leaf. And this is how you do it. You need to collect a few leaves. Okay, so you've got some dock leaves there. And that liquid there is what you apply to your stings. 